The reason we are here is because uh, we are now getting concerned that uh, it is becoming outrightly clear that there is a section of the executive that is out to frustrate the efforts of our governor to deliver services to this city. Uh, today at uh, Moy Forces Academy, it was very clear that uh, Keriako Tropico did not recognize the, pres the presence of the governor, and this is not the first time. And uh, we've actually been very quiet about this, and uh, very soon we will be letting Nairobians know that we are not able, this county is not able to work because of frustrations for the a section of the executive that have decided to ensure that this government does not perform. Uh, I would like to remind uh, them that this is the first time that the national government and the Nairobi government belong to the same party. It is a golden opportunity for this city. It is a golden opportunity for Wanjiko in this city and for the common Mwanainti to benefit from the smooth, smooth collaboration of both governments. It is sad and it is unfortunate and we hope that the president who was in that fu function was watching, the deputy president was watching, that they are going to intervene and ensure that um, the governor is able to deliver and able to work very, very smoothly in this city. Disrespecting our governor is disrespecting the 45 elected MCAs. And disrespecting 45 MCAs is disrespecting the decision of Wanjiko. And this needs to stop. Nairobi belongs to all of us. And I'll echo my, my colleague's sentiment. For, for, for the first time, we have both national government and county government belonging to one party. So let's stop this hula baloo and come together and work. Even if you don't respect His Excellency, Mike Movie Songo, please respect the institution. Respect the 800,000 people who woke up very early to put him in place. Because that's what we wanted. That's what we believed in. And with that, we demand respect and we demand an apology. I would like to call on the president to intervene on what is happening in Nairobi County. We are trying our best to serve the people of Nairobi. We are trying our best to deliver. But we cannot deliver if it's the same government that is fighting the same government. We are asking the president to intervene and put these people down. Because if Nairobi County fails, it will not be Governor Mike Bugisonko. It will be the Jubilee government failed to deliver to Nairobians. So, Mr. President, we are begging you to put your feet down and call these people to one table and let them behave as a family.